All right, Math One, this is our homework help video today on multi-step inequalities. This one's already done for you. Let's do this one. We use the same steps for solving an equation. The only thing is different is if you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, then the inequality is going to flip. So first thing is distributive property. This is distributive property here. We're going to multiply this negative 4. Let's attach this parentheses by multiplication. We're going to multiply negative 4 times both numbers in the parentheses. Bring down the 2x. Negative 4 times x gives me a negative 4x. Negative 4 times a positive 4 gives me negative 16. Bring down the inequality. This is a greater than sign. Bring down the negative 10. So distributive property is first. Second, combine like terms. So we're going to combine 2x with negative 4x. That gives us a negative 2x. Bring down the minus 16, the greater than the negative 10. All right, so we have combined like terms. Now we're going to isolate the variable because we don't have variables on both sides. So we're going to move the negative 16 first by adding 16 to both sides. When we add 16 to this side, we're left with this negative 2x. Bring down the greater than sign or inequality. And this is going to give us a positive 6 here. Negative 10 plus 16 is positive 6. Now we're going to divide both sides by a negative 2. Because we divided both sides by a negative number, this inequality is going to flip to a less than. This is negative 2 divided by negative 2 is a positive x. 6 divided by negative 2 gives us a negative 3. So our answer is going to be x is less than a negative 3, or negative 3 is greater than x. They mean exactly the same thing. Okay? Let's look at number 3. We're going to do the, the same thing again. Distributive property is first. We're going to distribute, which means multiply negative 5 times both terms in the parentheses. Okay, when we do that, zoom in just a little bit. This, I'm going to bring down, is 10x. This is negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times a negative 3 is a positive 15. Bring down the less than equal to inequality. Bring down the 20. So distributive properties first. Second is to combine like terms. You can combine these two terms because they are alike. This gives us 5x here. Bring down the plus 15, bring down the less than equal to 20. Isolate the variable. We're going to subtract the 15 first. We subtract 15, get rid of all numbers that you can subtract, add or subtract first. This gives you 0, and we're left with 5x. Bring down the less than or equal to, and this gives us 5. To get x by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 5. When we divide by 5, this is going to be x less than or equal to 1. Another way to write this is 1 is greater than or equal to x. This is saying the same thing as this. The x is still smaller. The x is still smaller, okay? All right. Okay, let's go down and do one like number 10. I mean, well, 9, okay? This is a little longer. We're going to do distributive property first. When we do distributive property, we bring this down, 5x. This is negative 3x here. This is a negative 9. Okay, on this side, you can take it out of the parentheses. You can't combine anything here. So we got 10. Uh, let's go ahead and make this minus 20. And positive times a positive because you multiply the positive. This is um, a positive x. Okay. Now, here we combine like terms. This is right here when we combine these two terms. This gives me 2x minus 9. Bring down the greater than equal to. On this side, we can sub subtract this. Combine like terms. That gives us negative 10. We have variables on both sides. I'm going to move the smaller one. I'm going to subtract the 1x on both sides. This is going to give me just x here, minus 9. Bring down the less than, equal to. 
or I'm sorry, greater than or equal to, sorry. And this is gone and we're left with negative 10 here, okay? We're gonna add nine on both sides. When we add nine on both sides, this gives us X here, less than or equal to, this gives us negative one, which is the same as saying negative one is smaller than or equal to x. The x is bigger here, the x is bigger here. Okay, they're saying the same thing. All right, so please go back and complete the rest of the problems. If you need more help, please ask for more help, okay? All right, have a good one.